we talked about it last year when when you guys went down to Palo Alto. You're a De La kid, but this is this is closer to home. Did you grow up? Was Memorial Stadium a place that you spent some time at growing up? Actually, when I was growing up, Cal was like one of my favorite colleges. You know, when Deshaun Jackson was there and Marshawn Lynch and Aaron Tim, when they were on the upcoming, it was exciting to be there and, the, and it was always sold out. So, yeah, it was one of my favorite colleges when I was in middle school and high school growing up. Was that like the dream school that you wanted to go to then, would you say? Uh, I wouldn't say a dream school, but, you know, it was one of my favorites. It was in the top five of my favorite schools and it was close to home, so. Yeah, this is going to be your first time playing Memorial, right? Because two years ago you guys played at AT&T. Yeah. So uh, how excited are you to, to actually be able to play on that field that you grew up watching it? It's going to be funny. It's, it's renovated. It's, everything's new. And I heard from my brother, he said the old locker room and stuff was pretty nasty. So I'm good to get back there and play in Memorial and actually be a part of the, the tradition that goes on along there and hopefully come out with a win. You guys never played a high school game there, Dayla? No, actually, uh, whenever we had a big game, we always played it like at the Raider Stadium, so the Coliseum. So we never played in Memorial. Um, well, now, for so I, I anticipate then you guys you've had a lot of people there for for Stanford. Yeah. What's the Tehran Ward supports gonna be like this weekend? It's gonna be big, you know. I'm tr I'm trying to get more tickets. People, are, we got a lot of people from LA and the Bay Area. They are all still in my tickets, but I'm trying to get at least 30 tickets and have at least. I know 20 by their own, so if I can get 50 people, that'd be good. You guys play in California all the time. This isn't nothing, anything new, but is there something to be said about going home and having a little extra, you know, juice in the battery, so to speak? It used to, not anymore, you know. Uh, when they didn't recruit me out of high school, it was kind of like a slap in the face being right in the backyard, but, you know, I'm here now, and I'm proud of where I'm at, and, you know, they're, they're doing okay for themselves, and when I go home and I play against those, I have a couple of friends on that I went to high school with, so that's always extra motivation. I have like, I have a lot of people come to the game. That's always extra motivation, so it's good. Uh, Coach Land, obviously in retirement, how, do you still keep in touch with him? Have you talked to him recently? I haven't talked to him in like the last month or two, but whenever I go home or whenever I see him, we have a long conversation. He's just a great guy to talk to, a great mentor, so Coach Land is great. I, I know you got, he's really instrumental in you, you Tyler, and, and Dylan. Uh, is it weird that you're going back home and he's not? A head coach at Dayline anymore? How weird is that for you guys to just understand? It is. It's kind of weird, but Coach Allen Ball has been doing a lot there for a long time, and Coach Ladd is still around. It's not like he just packed his stuff and left. He's still around the program and helping out. He just is not the head coach, but he still has that respect of being Coach Ladd, so I don't think anything has changed. Um, you, you mentioned Cal. Early, it's early in the week. I still have plenty more film to watch. Early scouting report on them. What do you see from the Bears? Uh, they're athletic. You know, they've always been athletic. They have a good front, uh, good D tackle, and their safeties fly around. And uh, they're just really talented, so we try to get them off their shoes a little bit, off their feet, and and play action, and have them off their have them eyes taken the other way. But they're a pretty athletic team. Past two games, you guys have two more rush yards than you did in the first four games combined. What's been the difference the past two games? I think people are getting healthy. You know, lineman Grant Ingram's back, uh, sticking to the run, having some progress on the ground, and it makes it more convenient to call run plays. So, you know, just sticking to it. We still have a lot of improvement to do, but. You know, it's a start. Storm said he's just he's tired of making excuses. Uh, you guys still aren't where you want it to be, obviously. What needs to be happening? I know you got guys getting healthy. Is it just a matter of hitting the holes, like more aggressive, being more patient? I mean, you're back. Like, take yeah. us through what you guys are. You seeing. know, it's just a collaboration of things. I feel like once we get the ball, in, we have to do what we have to do, and you know, each play is different. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to hit in the same hole. It's not going to feel the same. But just reading the blocks and hitting as hard as you can and not dancing around too much. When you when you, when you don't have a success in the running game, you want to pick different holes and make your own way when usually the hole is right there. So but When you look at the past two games, though, you feel like you guys are making that progress, taking yeah. a step forward. Having a little more confidence in our blocks and our blockers and trusting them a little bit more. And it, it's only going to improve the more trust we carry in them and the coaches having us. So, you know, just trust the alignment, know they're going to get to the block, and that's pretty much it.